Hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Dominion Online against Boris Diao. Okay, I know about Groundskeeper. I don't know if I should say don't show this again or if it'll stop warning me about other cards. What is Raise? Trash this or a card from your hand. Draw a card. Okay. Do we have colonies or something? No. Town, so it's either a village or a woodcutter. Or funding party. Any attacks? No. But a lot of good gaining and... I guess monument is kind of a payload. Yeah. I mean, Mont Raze is the only trasher, huh? Um, it's okay at trashing estates. I think I will actually take one. I don't know, it's only good at trashing estates. No thanks, just give me silver. Silver Monument. Classic opening from Prosperity. Um, I'm going to try to get a town wharf hunting party thing going with artisans for flavor. And like, Groundskeeper is also alternate VP, right? Town silver? What the fuck opening is? I mean, I don't know. Actually, you might not be wrong. Because like, it's... It's not just opening a village, right? This is like, it can act like a woodcutter early. Monument kind of has to act like that way all the way, but you want the towns eventually, whereas you don't really need the monuments necessarily. I think the opponent is right. I should be opening town. I'm glad I'm player two, because I would have made a mistake here opening monument. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure it's a mistake, but I think it's a mistake to open monument. And it seemed appealing to me at first as a source of alternate VP, but... I think the ability to transition into making it a village is more important. Ooh, they get an artisan early. That's really nice. I'm going to have to settle for a wharf, which is still quite good. And better than hunting party, right? It usually is. Yeah. Okay, just checking. So do we now buy the rays, figuring we have enough money and want to thin out a little bit? Get rid of the estates? I don't think we really do have enough money. God, artisan to gain groundskeepers should be really good. I don't think you want them right away or anything, but... Yeah, I've got to have an artisan. It seems amazing. And we need to we need to get all the towns we can. That's what's holding together the whole deck. Opponent's just hitting beautiful numbers every time. Six four four. Whereas I'm stuck with like okay five six. All right. That's that's fine. I guess I'll have plenty of buys next turn. Raise town, yeah, that makes sense. It would be seven bucks. I could buy town plus not quite another town, huh? I think it might be too late for raise. Let's just add more silvers. So we have three towns each. My goal if I could, would be to get, like, all of the rest, but I, I'll be happy just to have wound up with five. Yeah, wharf makes sense. Oh, you get a wharf to hand. That's so gross. I don't think I will get five. I think I'm going to lose the wharf split, or the town split. Really? 
played town with no other actions in hand instead of taking the coins? And bought a hunting party? What? Uh... I'm going to play the Artisan now to pick up a town. It would be nice to get a wharf with it, but... I want to make sure that I can keep playing stuff after my wharf. Well... I want to make sure that I can also play whatever I draw off the Artisan. So I think, yeah, we take the Artisan for town here. And top deck, who cares, and estate. Nah, looks like I maybe didn't have to. I'll buy the wharf now. Right? I don't want a groundskeeper yet. I could buy another town, but wharves are important too. I do have a wharf in play, okay. Double town? No! Really? What the heck? You want Wharf Silver? I'll take two towns. So we actually did win the Wharf split, I, uh, the town split. I have six of them now, don't I? An opponent has three? Kind of crazy. So I won them 6-4. Taking cards here, or actions, I guess. Ooh. Okay. I could gain a, a groundskeeper, I guess, or maybe a hunting party. I want, I want a cantrip off of this so I can play it and then play the wharf. I think hunting party is actually great. And it doesn't matter what we top deck because we're just about to draw it anyway. Yes, a town! Nine. Uh. Could get Wharf Monument? I don't think that's very good. What if I took a groundskeeper? I don't know, that doesn't seem that great either. Something good I could do with six bucks? I could buy an artisan. I don't want that. I think more wharves are pretty good. And then it's just, do I have enough actions for the monument? And I think the answer is maybe? Oh, let's say yes. Ugh. Hopefully the wharf does something good. The opponent also has a pretty bad turn, apparently. Oh my god, what a sick draw! The two best cards in my deck to hit. I am not going to shuffle with these in, in play. Seven bucks. Do I want to raise? I don't think I do. But I could maybe take one more artisan. It's a lot of terminals. But it could like help me start gaining groundskeepers, right? And then gain duchies with them to get more points? I don't know, that seems kind of crazy. Just give me a hunting party, I think. No, give me, a, give me another wharf. I want four of those. So that I can try to play two every turn.
What did they raise, by the way? An estate, as you would imagine. Gold. Well, okay, you get to gain it to hand, I guess. Sure. I think the monument was probably wrong. But VP tokens, man, they're so good. Oh, they're still in there. I thought for some reason they were in their buy phase already. But no, lots of stuff still going on. Okay. They trashed the rays. How did they discard an estate? Oh, discard the rest. Okay. They bought a wharf and then another wharf. So now we're both at four. And they picked up a monument too. I feel like they don't have enough talents to support this. Or am I wrong? Do I not have, um... Do I not have six towns? I'm so good at this game. So let's artisan, I think, a groundskeeper now. As another like source of alternate VP. So if I buy a province now, it is worth seven points. But wouldn't it be better to buy like more groundskeepers first? I think so. Because we're, we're really close to ending the game, right? The wharves are gone, and we both have artisans to gain stuff and multiple buys. So a pile out could happen relatively quickly. Tragic Hero is a little weird to me. It seems very bad here compared to Wharf. I mean, I guess they really want to gain the gold. So it's draw three cards this turn, gain a gold for next turn. Okay, they have three, they played three wharves this turn. So they're, they're not even in their wharves. They're not having two every turn. But I'm not either, right? I, I've never had a turn where I've managed to play two wharves somehow. Okay, province makes sense. Groundskeeper, probably. Maybe Hunting Party. Another tragic hero. Seems weird. How many towns did they play? It was only three or four, right? Town, town. Town, town. Yeah, it was four. I still think I have six. And I haven't been counting, but that's what I think is happening. I don't really want the hunting party to hit a town, so I think I should play the hunting party while I still have a town in hand. Mm, okay, I guess I kind of did want it to hit a town, maybe. Okay, can I hit something good, please? Four, I mean, I guess I could four, six, eight, that would just be ten. Yeah, I guess I'll just settle for that. I could buy two fives here. Two more hunting parties? Because I don't have as much draw as I want. But I think if I don't at least grab a couple provinces at some point, I'm going to be in trouble. I could go for groundskeeper hunting party. Okay, fine. Okay, we're up for a good turn now. This is when we're going to start buying victory cards, hopefully provinces. It's like, where did that gold come from? They trashed their tragic hero. So this is their big turn. 
I don't think they can end the game here. It's There's way too many of these left. I don't know, maybe they could pile out curses? They don't have that many buys. And if they did, I don't think they could also gain enough money. But they've got their whole deck, though. Huh. You gonna raise the raise to draw gold? Yeah. 24 is pretty good. Probably you should just buy the three provinces, right? No. Really? Okay. All right, I mean, these are looking pretty cool. All right, give me another wharf, please. Okay, so I have how many groundskeepers in play? Four. And 12 bucks. So a province is worth 10 and an estate is worth 5, right? So I shouldn't just buy a province here. Because I don't have enough money to spend province. So I could buy province, estate, estate for 20. Or if I wanted to, I could get a duchy and have seven left. What if I just buy a ton of estates? This Gets us kind of close to a pileout scenario, but opponent doesn't have enough groundskeepers to benefit from it. So they kind of have to keep going for provinces, I think, whereas I can potentially pile out on estates. I didn't quite, I was $1 short of being able to buy a duchy and four estates instead of buying five estates. That would have saved me two extra points. And this is their bad turn, right? They only have one wharf in play instead of three at the beginning of their turn. They're not going to triple province. Even if they could, I don't know if that would be any good. I think we're in quite good shape here. How many wharves do I have in play? Two? Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got them now. I'm almost ready, ready to win already. Artisan can gain estates as well, for what that's worth. One, two, three, four. This is my fifth town, so I have at least five. Good to know. All right, so we have five buys. That's enough to pile out estates and win, right? So I can stop worrying about things here. But I guess it would be better to gain a groundskeeper with this artisan than to buy an estate. And then end, end buys. Let's buy some curses. Okay. GG, we got them.
So, yeah, I don't know. The grounds keep... Hello? I can't click this button. I've clicked it several times and nothing is happening. Um, I don't know why, but... All right, whatever. We'll just do the game review here. Um... Well, but I want to know how many towns I had. Uh... Hello? Okay. I, I don't know. It just doesn't work. Uh, yeah, see, gaining the groundskeeper... Actually, gaining groundskeeper was wrong, wasn't it? Now that I look at it. Because the groundskeeper only gained me three points. Whereas, if I had gained a duchy, it would have been five points. Because... I would have gotten three points, plus one from each of the two groundskeepers I already had in play. Now, you know, this drew me a card. But it didn't matter. Also, what is going on with what's in my hand right now? Oh, this is what I drew for the next turn after the game is over. I see. All right, well, it's not going to show me the review. So... We can just do a postmortem here. Like, I think the towns were absolutely crucial, and the artisan to gain like wharves and stuff was good. Uh, you definitely want one of these. I think two is too many because it it, it costs six bucks and. It soaks up. It takes up one of your terminal slots, which if you just have five towns, you, you don't really have that many terminals you can play. So I kind of wanted an, a cartographer at some point, but I think that was kind of silly. A hunting party is just obviously better, and that's what I ended up taking. But I don't really understand opponent's tragic hero thing. It was kind of an interesting way to draw cards and then get buys and gold, but. I don't think the deck wants gold. I don't know. I mean, they had 24 bucks for three provinces at one point. That was kind of cool. I think Groundskeeper is a nice source of alternate VP. That means you don't need that much gold. The monument was greedy. I don't know. Like, I think if I had just taken the silver, I might have been happier. I ended up having to contort my play a few times around monument. Like, it was never dead. I managed to play it every time I drew it. But I had to do awkward things with artisan, like gain something to hand that was a cantrip when I didn't really want to, or, or something like that. Or, I don't remember the details, but I think it was a little bit awkward once or twice. And it gained me, like, what, two or three victory points? Maybe a silver would have been better, because I could have avoided those contortions. I'm pleased I timed the groundskeeper transition in a way that felt about right. Right, I picked up three of them quite quickly. And then... Okay, I didn't gain... And then right after that, did I gain... I think I gained victory points. I don't remember the details. The raise thing, I'm not sure. Opponent bought a raise. It seemed fine. Um, raising my estates would have been nice, but I think the silver to get the high value five things sooner was also good. I think it was, I thought it was going to be better is why I bought it. I think it turned out to actually be better, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, well, I guess since we can't leave the screen, we're just going to have to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.